I've been asked to demonstrate how to make flying geese quick and easy. This is what a flying geese is. And the secret is to have a straight line. Here's my straight line that absolutely lines up to the point on my needle. So when I'm sewing, I'm going to keep my fabric, my sew line, right on those lines. So I'm going to start out with a four and a half inch square and then I'm going to put my two and a half inch square directly in the corner just like that. So now I'm ready to sew. I have my needle dead center and I know that my needle is lined up with this red line here. So I'm going to put my fabric in the back and I'm going to put one tip at the point here and then I'm going to put the other tip down here on the bottom. So when I sew, I'm going to make sure that I keep this tip of my flying geese perfectly on that red line. As you can see, when I was sewing, I went right off the very edge. That's exactly what I want it to look like. The next step for this is I'm going to trim the quarter inch seam. Now you can either do this with your rotary cutter or I'm going to do it with a pair of scissors just for demonstration purposes. Toss that away. Now I'm going to iron this back. Right now I'm just going to finger press mine and you can see it's a beautiful perfect 45 degree angle. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other side of my geese and I'm going to repeat the same method. So I'll line up my edges right here in the bottom and now I'm ready to sew the other side. So here's my needle. Again, I'm dead center on the foot. My, my needle is perfectly lined up with my red foot, my red line. And I have found that sometimes I can I need to change the needle position, either right or left, to make sure that when I sew, I'm hitting those points perfectly. So I'm going to lay my presser foot down, line up my square onto my red line. I've got my tip with the needle and my tip with the red, and here we go. This works very well for assembly line sewing. If I had a hundred of these geese to make, I would just lay out all my little squares, a hundred of them and all my other squares here, and I would just go to town and assembly line sew them all together. So I'm going to trim my quarter inch here, and now my flying geese is, more my flying goose, is ready for the presser. Beautiful.